on Philosophical. This is my channel. We're healing over here. Uh, I just did a reading, but the radio was too loud in the background, but it was about a detective balancing some shit out for somebody here. There was a toxic Pisces that lied in court. They said they knew information that they didn't. They, they straight up. I feel like their whole testimony was a lie. I love you. Thank you for your support. Straight out of Philly Tarot is my backup channel. Go subscribe and hit the notification bell in case something happens on here. I'm, no one can stop me. No one can stop you. That's just the way it is. Some things will never change. Yeah, it'll never change. Higher vibrational beings only. This person was actually in love with somebody here. And uh, because the person didn't feel the same on the other end, they tried to sabotage them. And I feel like they, they, they gave false testimony in court. Judge, I just saw... Yeah. Some, there's something big that just happened. I feel like somebody doesn't know about it yet. Somebody's mask was completely ripped off. They're being seen as miserable. They fuck with a healer. They need healing. Okay. Um, hold on a second. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. What do we need to know about this? It's about a large sum of money too. It was about insurance money. Tell me about this. Tell me about this. Someone tried to sabotage an ascended master here. Somebody who came to this planet to teach people, to guide people, uh, to enlighten people, to wake people up, to heal people. Okay? That's a big no-no in the universe. Higher vibrational beings only, please. Someone was really patient in this situation. I just heard someone was really patient. Two minutes exactly. As today, Wednesday. Let me make this longer. Let me put this up because I need a little bit. Okay. Is, is today, Wednesday. Thank you. Is today, Friday. Thank you. Are we dealing with the light attribute of this teacher card? Yeah. Somebody here uh, is a teacher, a send a master. They, they, they pass on wisdom and knowledge and they help people and they guide people during these times. They're a master manifester. Somebody could be teaching somebody how to manifest, okay? Going from rags to riches, how to get themselves out of poverty and break... Uh, generational curses of poverty, okay, that has been going plaguing our bloodlines for a long time because of these spells and this sorcery that has been done on our bloodlines, and we came here to fuck shit up, okay, in a good way though, right? Somebody here who didn't want to learn, somebody here didn't think that they had anything to learn. This is somebody who's a know it all, okay? Somebody here thought that somebody, I don't practice Santeria, so this is somebody who was practicing Santeria or some kind of brujaria or. <clears throat> somebody here uh denied look pisces there's a pisces who felt rejected all right i also feel like there's a pisces here who rejected uh learning from somebody because this is i'm getting the energy of a know-it-all what are you talking about I, I know this, I know that, I know that, no, but nobody in that situation can tell me, what are you going to teach me, right? Somebody turned their back on, on, on learning about maybe bloodlines, about spiritual warfare, about the universe, about uh, being protected, being chosen, being a light worker, being a star seed. Somebody's secrets are coming out. Somebody's trying to keep this secret from coming out. Somebody doesn't like the fact that somebody stands on their own, too. Somebody also fucked with a karmic female here. They got into a relationship with a karmic female. Could be a Gemini. Could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be. But somebody here knows. They thought they were going to have some kind of success or wish fulfillment or something was coming in with a karmic female. Okay? And for a card. This could be a masculine uh, Pisces we're talking about here. Okay? Tell me about this emperor. This person could be a father. This person could be a tarot reader. 
or this person only got with this karmic female because they needed some money or they needed something uh, tangible or material in their life. And I feel like they put their guard up with a divine being here. This is, this is definitely a karmic masculine. This could have been your twin that you needed to cut cords with because this person didn't want to enlighten themselves. They didn't want to level up. All right, they wanted to stay in the same criminal, uh, toxic energy that the rest of their bloodline was in. They didn't want to break generational curses. They didn't even they didn't even want to hear about that. They just wanted money and power, and they're a sociopath, punk ass Pisces. But this isn't going to be for every Pisces. Pisces got friend zoned by somebody here, karmic because they were karmic masculine. So there's a Pisces here that got friend zoned by somebody. Because somebody was warned to stay away from somebody. So somebody listened to their guides in the universe and stepped away from somebody. Because they kept having bad luck. Or things kept going bad for somebody. And they did. And somebody took that fucking personal. And what else? Um, insurance money. Mm -hmm. So somebody had insurance money come into them. Right? They cheated their way of getting this insurance money. They forged documents. Um, they, they lied in court. This person could have actually said, uh, there, I was picking up on energy too, where somebody married somebody illegally without their knowledge. I don't know if you can do that online or something because, uh, they wanted to say that they got this money and then they were going to try and kill the person. <sighs> you never hear about it till after it's already over. They blamed you. I feel like with this loves you thing, I feel like you had love for this person. You were a good friend or a good girlfriend or whatever to this person, but they blamed you for something. What was, it, what was the blame for? Tell me more about this. Look, Pisces again. There's definitely a fucking low vibing Pisces here or they blamed or they blamed you, Pisces. Somebody blamed you, Scorpio. Somebody could have blamed somebody else for the death of whoever this was. Somebody stole insurance money, seven of swords, period be a Sagittarius involved. There's definitely a fucking Pisces came out twice now. Pisces that felt rejected by somebody. They don't handle rejection well. They got mommy and daddy issues. They were abandoned. Okay? But you're also under judgment for feeling like that Pisces. For whoever this low vibing Pisces is uh, in your life. Okay? I know that there's high vibing Pisces that aren't going to like this. That's good. You're not this person. Keep it moving. Okay? Tell me more about this Pisces get feeling rejected. Okay? They said that they rejected you is what I'm picking up. Oh, okay. So there's a Pisces here who lied and said that they rejected somebody here, but it was the actual opposite. They got rejected and they didn't like that. So what did they do? They started trying to destroy somebody like a real man or a real woman does. Okay. Yeah. They didn't like, I feel like somebody tried to come in between two people here and it wouldn't work because these two people were so solid in their connection and somebody here was like, what are you talking about? I, I have successfully came in between every one of my friends and their wives and girlfriends because I just don't want to see other people happy. This is a very, very low vibing individual we're talking about here yeah they didn't like the fact that you guys put the work in for each other they don't like the fact that th this but this is the kind of person where this may not even be someone specific if somebody here has a happy relationship a happy family right they have a happy home with the ace of cups and the ten of cups then that's it i want to destroy it i want i want to i want to set people up to to cheat on somebody i want to make false messages and i want to make false uh accounts and send messages or text messages acting like i'm somebody they cheated on because i'm fucking hateful and i'm jealous and i'm competitive and i don't have healthy relationships and i don't have healthy friendships so whenever i see anybody happy besides me i want to destroy it because i want everybody to look at me as the fucking savior and the king <sighs> somebody here looks like a hating fool they look like an absolute hating fool is what this person looks like. There's Gemini, Pisces, and Aries here. You can have all three of these people that were coming against you for some of you. You were guided to move away from these people or this person. Somebody said that they moved away from you is what I'm picking up. Somebody's whatever, okay, whatever you Somebody mimicked the whole story, but on, and they flipped it. So 
somebody, if, if you said that you were guided to move away from this person because they were toxic, this is what they said to their people. They used your words and, and your terminology and everything to people. I was guided, my, my guides guided me to walk to turn away from this person because they were no good or they were toxic. And it, it's coming out that they were the actual toxic one here. So I feel like you did. I feel like you moved away from this person and you and as soon as you did, you started getting financial opportunities. This is somebody who thought, well, if I'm not in your life, you're not going to make it. Hmm? I'm sorry. Hmm? What'd you say? Because we didn't hear you the first time. Heavy Pisces. They could have been dealing with a cancer here. They're both under judgment though. All right. And they're both worried about it with the Nine of Wands. They're both concerned about what this judgment is going to be. Because I feel like it's really starting to sink in with a lot of people now. Oops. I made a mistake. You could have moved on for this person and started a social media platform and told your story. You could you could be a tarot reader or this could just be you talking about this on a podcast, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever this is. But I feel like... Um, you know, the truth always comes out, right? I feel like somebody here didn't believe that the truth was going to come out. Or what do you mean the truth always comes out? I've been hiding my truth my whole life. Yeah, but you didn't come against a chosen one. This person tried to tempt you probably to get into a lower vibration. This person does this to everybody. I feel like this person, conflict and defeat. So they they uh, fell into temptation and you turned your back on it. And this is when this shit started getting uh, exposed. Neighbors. Something. Some, somebody's neighbor could have been trying to attack somebody or somebody's neighbor could have been trying to set somebody up to be attacked. Firm foundation. So I feel like you started building your shit on the firm foundation. And that's why you're getting recognition and reward from your ancestors, from the universe, from your guides, okay? There's a video of somebody getting attacked or a video of some, some, something was caught on video. This is your destiny. And can't nobody take the shit, Okay. And there's an ancestor here that's like, bitch, I wish you would. Come and get it. Come and get it. Let me show you the ass whooping I can put on you and shit. I feel like you were very patient and waiting for this to come out too. I feel like you just kept grounding yourself and staying solid. And then because you did this, the energy started shifting and you let your ancestors in the universe handle shit for you. There's a definitely an Aquarius that stressed the fuck out though. a nice day i feel like you're just a good person you're like hi have a nice day i feel like you're just kind to people and that's what this detective is finding out yeah i feel like you just waited you know it's like you just stayed in this loving energy loved on yourself somebody took it to the extreme i just heard there's definitely so there could be a uh water sign let me see what this is tell me about this four of pentacles yeah, there's definitely a water sign here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, that was holding on to money that belonged to somebody here. Someone from your past, possibly. There's a water sign that was holding on to money that uh, belonged to an earth sign. Yeah, and they're stressed out about it because now it came out that somebody took money that belonged to somebody else. There's some kind of news that came out with the Page of Wands uh, about this this female holding on to money that belonged to another female here I'm picking up on. Yeah. Fucking ultimate betrayal here. Don't worry, though. Don't worry. We never did, though, right? Once you put your faith in just the universe... Your ancestors, your guides, angels, right? You're like, I, you know, I know if I do some shit, I'm going to get myself locked up, okay? Uh, that's when shit started to happen here. So there's a, a water sign here that was holding on to money or they were holding on to the fact that they were going to have some kind of life with a possible water sign masculine here. They got betrayed. They got betrayed by this person. Could be a Scorpio female. This is the kind of person that has a lot of uh, extracurricular activities with other people, if you feel me. Somebody was exposed. Exposed for what? Exposed for what? A death. 
having something to do uh, with the death of somebody, being very secretive. I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like with the Three of Cups, it could be there. Could this person could be being exposed as a serial killer here? There's a water sign couple here. I picked this up a while ago about this uh, water sign masculine and feminine here that were like, uh, they did this to people intentionally. They lured people in to be friends with them and then they started doing spell work on them and then they get life insurance policies and shit like that. They're both fucking narcissists, these two. They live an alternative lifestyle. They lied to your family. Leo. They could have lied to the family of a Leo, or they, this is a Leo that lied a daughter. Tell me more about this situation, please. Voodoo. Shit ain't working for all you fucking doo-doo. For all you doo-doo doll. Uh, pokers. <laughs> First name N through Z. So this person uh, made a voodoo doll. Or you're the one that they made the voodoo doll of. Yeah, they made a, a voodoo doll of, of a goat here because they wanted revenge because somebody was just great. So you may not have even have done nothing to these people I'm picking up on. 16, 16. You're just amazing and people see you like this and somebody's not. It's just that simple. Somebody's not amazing and you are. So what do they do? Let me get a voodoo doll. Dirty little secret. Somebody's got dirty little secrets and they're out. I need help. That's for damn certain. That's for damn certain, ma'am and sir. That's what's playing. Dirty little secret. When we live such fragile lives. Yes, is the best way we survive, right? Cousin. Waste my time. You don't want to waste your time with these people. And they took it personally. You don't want to hang out with them. Somebody's cousin is intimidated uh, by strong women here. Let's pull on this. Tell me about this cousin. Tell me about this cousin. This could also be a cousin of yours that sees you as the goat, okay? And sees that people are intimidated by strong women. Queen of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. I feel like this is the one that's intimidated by strong women. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yeah, on a low vibing tip though. Page of Swords, and I feel like they spied on you or they lied on you. They probably did both, okay? If they're not spying on you, they're lying on you. I just heard. If it's not spying, it's lying. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Somebody doesn't like the fact that you put the work in yourself, okay? For some of you, this is somebody you work with that doesn't like it. They don't like the fact that uh, you're a hard worker, um, that, that you, you have a positive outlook on life. They don't like the fact that you keep working on yourself. You didn't let yourself disintegrate and go into the ground like this person did, apparently. Somebody's got a lot of secrets. A lot of dirty secrets. Tell me more about this. <clears throat> Somebody here thought that they were going to... So there's a Queen of Cups here that thought that... Um, look. Look. Everything is about money with these people, I'm telling you. Somebody thought that they were getting with a king of pentacles. They wound up having a knight of pentacles here. Um, and now, now that they have nothing left, now that they're in this five of pentacles energy, they got rejected by this king of pentacles here. Okay? Somebody got rejected by somebody. Once they, once they got what they wanted, they left this person. I don't know how you're connected to this person. For some of you, this is your mother, I just heard. Let me find out. I feel like there's a mother who didn't like if her, her daughter was ever in a healthy relationship or ever had more than what they did. A high vibration of beings only. Is this Queen of Cups a mother? Well, 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 huh? You know, it's really sad because a lot of us uh, Divine Feminines specifically who came back as women this time, okay? And we're actually a feminine in this lifetime. For all the people who want to talk about it. it's just energy, okay? So let me specify for all the women who are divine feminine, right? We have uh, vaginas and boobs, okay? On a natural tip, okay? Does that clear it up? Um, our mothers were jealous of us and have been sabotaging us for a long time, and they've been hiding this shit, and it's no, it's not hidden anymore because now you take your energy away, and your mom starts talking about you being an addict, and then it comes out that they're an addict as well. 
and then they start talking about you to the other family members and the family members they, they could have said you were on heroin okay and this mother could be on heroin or they just lied about you being i mean there's still you know, jealous of divine feminine somebody's pissed off that divine feminine keeps growing and growing and growing and going up the hill instead of going back down the hill there's a toxic fucking mother here uh who really wanted their daughter to fucking suffer these are the mothers who who were they weren't planned pregnancies Okay, but then they'll judge you for having a pregnancy that wasn't planned. Very toxic finger pointing. You should be pointing that shit at your face, kind of mothers. Okay, tell me about this. And then there's the father, and then there's the father. Okay, this is the kind of person, mother, who was jealous that there was a divine feminine who probably had a close relationship with their father. Okay, somebody's father is being seen as a liar. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let me ask, I'm going to ask specifically if this is a father or if this is a high vibrational beings only. Is this a father? Yeah, so this is specifically a father. Is this a high vibing father? No. So this is for those of you who had two narcissistic low vibing parents who never wanted to see you succeed, but they hid it very well until you took your energy back, okay? Okay. That's what this is telling me. So this is the father to the mother. Okay. Create a legacy. Whatever that song is, you're creating a legacy. And I feel like there's a father and a mother who don't like it. Tell me about this father. You're making history. They don't like it. <laughs> yeah, emperor. This is a father here. This is a low vibing father for some for a lot of you. All tied up, no more love. So I feel like you you figured out that you didn't really a manipulative, a manipulative father to a gaslighter. I, uh, all tied up, no more love. So I feel like either this father had something to do with trying to get somebody kidnapped, or uh, they wanted you bound and, and in low vibration and needing them. Chariot, there's a father that sees you moving forward. This father could be a cancer or an Aries, or somehow there's cancer and cancer involved in here. The cancer could be your mother um, because of that Queen of Cups card that came out. These are two parents that didn't want to see. Yeah, look, Knight of Pentacles and Empress. You could be an Earth sign. You could be a younger Earth sign Empress. Um... Or this is your mother. Why are these like... Did I put these back the wrong way? Oh no, okay. I got one more run and it's going to be a sight to see. So I feel like somebody didn't think you had it in you, Divine Feminine. They really didn't think you had it in you. They thought you were out for the count. You also put an end to even communicating... Uh, with this mother and father. Let me ask if this empress is the mother here. Or if this is you. Is this empress the divine feminine? Okay. This is the mother. So this is your mother. Your mother could be a cancer. Your mother could have not made her own money. Or she didn't actually have a legacy. Or she didn't go to school. Or she... she, she uh, piggybacked off of uh, your father and other family members. I feel like this is coming out here. Tell me about this mother. I feel like you were very loyal to this mother, Divine Feminine, with the Knight of Pentacles. Like, you were just a loyal daughter. I don't feel like this mother really ever loved you or cared. She's pregnant in this picture, so your mother could have been, like, pregnant uh, when she didn't want to be with you, and, and it shows. Yeah. Don't let that buzz go to waste. So your mother could be a drinker. I feel like in the past, like you really invested a lot in this mother. I feel like this, you, you just didn't want to fight. I feel like it was more or less like, I'll even take the heat for shit as long as we don't fight because it's my mom. It's at that toxic belief system. Well, it's my mom and it's my dad. No, no, 24, 24, no, that's toxic. If they're not helping you grow, they have to go. I, I feel like you even told this mother that maybe you felt like they didn't love you and shit like that. Yes, I feel like you expressed to this mother, this mother like denied you. I feel like you just felt like denied, like it didn't matter what you did. 
if you are doing something for this mother, you are working against them is what I'm picking up. If you did something for yourself, yeah, you closed out a very toxic cycle with a toxic mother and a toxic father for whoever I'm speaking to. Toxic parents where they wanted to see you struggle. Um, they, they were, they were, and, and they're never going to admit this, that they got what they had off your energy. The only way you'll prove it is when you pull your energy back and then you see their life starting to go to shit. Just you being in their life. You were the blessing as a child. And it doesn't matter if they believe it or not. It'll be shown. It'll be shown to them. You know what? Let me get. So you closed out a cycle. And now what? Yep. And now you're investing in yourself. You're not investing in, in this family, these parents, nothing. Like, look, there, there's a definitely a cycle that closed out. And somebody's life is about to change because of it. Yep. Cool quarters, okay? Calm life. You're investing in yourself. Doing it all alone. No one can say they helped you. No one can point a finger at you or you'll bite that shit right off. Yep. Now, since you moved away, look, since you were guided to move away, now these family members are fighting with themselves. Okay? Now they're fighting amongst themselves because all kinds of secrets are coming out. The hate that they had for the divine feminine, divine masculine is coming out. Okay? I'm going to get a demon card. Tell me, uh, tell me what I need to know about this particular situation. Give me a card for this particular situation. I feel like you just felt slapped in the face by this, by these uh, parents. <sighs> Agaris. You just, I feel like you just like always felt like belittled or downed or looked down on. And it's like, ain't nobody, ain't nobody accepting that energy no more. Mm -mm. Nope. Go look down on somebody else and they'll find somebody else. They need a scapegoat. So somebody else is going to get it for a lot of you with your children, but they'll figure it out and they'll leave too. Bringing allies uh, closer and enemies away. Yeah, and you realize, oh, damn, man, like, is it, are you, wait, are you really telling me, universe, that my fam, some of my family members are actually enemies? Absolutely. For those of you who are new to this and you just had your awakening, you're going to find that out when you go and stay to yourself. You're going to be isolated. For those of you who didn't go through it yet, okay? King of Swords, a controlling father, okay? Who was supposed to be on your side but wound up being, um, look, a controlling narcissistic father with the king of pentacles at the bottom whose love of money and of gaslighting ways, okay? Or they mess with that magic. For some of you, your fathers really did. But other than that, I feel like this is just a very, this is a father who gaslit you your whole entire life uh, to make you feel like, uh, if it wasn't for me, where would you be? And this, that, or the other. And then you went on your own, right? And they probably like triangulated you with your mom. Okay, they triangulated you with your mother, maybe about a home or a job or something like that, or just in life. Pisces energy here, or there's just a lot of secrets, and this father just had mental illness. I feel like this father was hiding mental illness, but like self-medicating, drinking, or something like that, or smoking weed, or taking med. I don't know what it was, but there's something here about some kind of mental illness that runs deep in the family, and I feel like you don't have it, and they don't like that. All right. But I, I do feel like this, this father made you feel like, uh, where would you be without me? And you know what? There are things like, yeah, I would be so, into, I, I do accept the fact that I've gotten these attributes from you, but don't make me feel like motherfucker that like I was the needy one and you were the only reason I'm still here. Okay. Yeah. You put an end to this shit. And I feel like that everybody's starting to see that this father was just very cold, narcissistic, money hungry, and didn't love their child. That's what this is. I mean, join the club. It's like, we don't feel bad about it anymore. We're healing over here, like I said, okay? Ha, ha, ha. He, he, he. We laughing at this shit now so we can move forward. That's what we're doing. We're not going nowhere. Where are we at? Where are we at? We're right here. Where are you at? Exactly. I love you guys. I'll be back. We're not going nowhere. Love you guys. Bye.